Hey everyone, welcome to another How to Webflow. In this video, I'm going to explain CSS heights, using pixels for heights, percentages, and viewport heights. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so in the last video, you've learned widths. Now we're going to learn about heights. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, drag in a div block, okay? Just like I said in the last video, a div block has a default of display block and width of auto and height of auto. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a background color just so we can see it more visually. I'm gonna give it purple. All right, now, again, if I preview it right now with the height being auto, nothing shows up. And the reason why is because height collapses down to whatever the content is. Now, since we don't have content, let's go ahead and put some content. I'm gonna put in a paragraph, all right? Oh, this is a bad color. Let's, <laughs> it's hard to see. Let's make this just simple gray. Nah, it's not fun. All right, I think that's better. Yeah, orange, yellow, whatever. Okay, cool. <laughs> Anyways, all right, now, Let's go ahead and set the width to a, a max width of 960 pixels and center that. Let's re push that away with the margin top. All right, so notice how the height is now dictated by the content, by this paragraph, all right? This paragraph has three lines. The size is 14 pixels tall and the height is, uh, the line height is 20 pixels, okay? So if we preview it, we can actually see it. Now, the height, we can dictate it by setting exact pixels. Let's say uh, 350 pixels tall, okay? Now, if we do this and we preview, obviously, because of the width of the content, you know, the width doesn't matter. We're playing around with height. So 300 pixels will, 300 pixels high doesn't mean anything. However, if I publish this, let's go ahead and publish this real quick and look at it. If I start to drag this up right here, notice how this box never gets any smaller. It goes up to 300 pixels tall and the height of the browser window never affects it. Okay. Let me put this back here. Now, what if, what if I set the height of this div block to be a, a percentage, okay? So let's say a height of 80%, okay? Now, notice how 80%, using any percentages, even 30, zero, whatever, it doesn't affect it. The reason why is because it's 80% of its parent, the body. And the body doesn't really have a height. And so when you set a percentage for the height and the, bo and the body is its parent, nothing really happens. Cause it's like, I don't know, the browser is saying, I don't know how tall the parent is, all right? So if I, if I uh, put another div block on the page and let's push this away, let's give it a max width of 960, center that, and we drag in div block six into seven, right? And the height is 80%, well still, Div block seven doesn't have a height, so no one knows how tall anyone is. However, if I set this height to be 800 pixels tall, look what happens. So this right here is 800 pixels tall from the top to the bottom. And now div block six, actually let's give div block seven a color, a background color. And notice, 
div block six is 80% of its parent, which is 80% of this height. So now that we now that we have a parent that actually has a strict height, now we can use percentages. 50% of that or 100% and now there we go. All right. So that's how we use percentages, making sure that its parent actually has a strict height. Okay? Now uh, let's go ahead and play around with viewport. Okay. Viewport. If I do viewport, viewport, oh, sorry, viewport height, VH. Now this is ignoring its parent and just getting the height of the browser window. Okay. So let me publish this and you'll see what I mean. Actually, let me remove the, the margin as well. Remove that margin and remove that margin. There we go. Going to publish and refresh. Now look what happens. This is corresponding to the height of the browser window, not to the height of its parent. So it's ignoring its parent and saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to listen to the browser window. I'm not listening to you anymore, just the browser window. Okay, so that's what viewport height does. Now, here's a real world scenario, okay? Let me show you a real world scenario. I'm going to put div block six outside. And a lot of people like to do this with their content. They like to do 100 VH on their uh, 100 VH on their uh, hero row, on the first row that you see on a web page, right? And I'm gonna give this a width of say, a max width of 500 and there we go. And let's make this big. Okay, so a lot of people like to do something like this where it's like a grand experience when you first get to the home page. you're like, oh cool, right? And then um, when they have the, the height of the viewport, the viewport height set to 100 on all breakpoints. While this is cool and all, notice what happens. The, the height of this browser, the, the height of this browser, if I leave it like this, notice how the content within it goes beyond 100% of the viewport height, okay, 100 VH. And that's because you'll never know how tall your user's browser is or how tall their device is. It can be as tall as a an iPhone 11 Max Pro S, I don't know, so many, <laughs> or a Galaxy S20 or something like that, or even a Fold or a Z Flip, or you'll never know how tall or even how small a device is going to be. And so when that happens, when you use 100 VH across all breakpoints, when it comes to the height of it, then you get some overflow happening. Okay, say the, the screen is this, this tall, okay? So the viewport height, see the yellow box? The viewport height is 100%. So it's doing, its, doing what you told it to do. But the content within it, It'll go beyond. It'll go um, beyond it, and so I see some people having trouble with this. So, in a real-world scenario, when it comes to viewport heights, I never use VH except on desktop. So when you get to tablet, don't use VH. Use a strict pixel size, like 500 pixels. That way, you can actually see what's going on and you can fix it, fix whatever needs fixing based on the viewport, based on the uh, viewport. And when you set a, a fixed height, now it doesn't matter how tall or how short your user's browser or device is, 
it's going to always be 500 pixels tall, okay? So, yeah, that's viewport, uh, that's height, percent view and um, viewport height. Now let's talk about max height and min height. We're gonna start with max height, just like I did with um, the last video with max width. We'll start here. And let's set this to um, 500 pixels tall. Let's make this smaller. All right, there we go. Now, if I remove the height so it can be auto, again, it collapses to whatever the content is, okay? If I set the max height to say 600 pixels, oops. So if I set the max height to 600 pixels, nothing happens. But if I set this height to say um, 100 VH, viewport height, this doesn't go 100% of the, of the browser window. The reason why is because we're saying, hey, I want you to expand as far down as possible 100% of the viewport height. I want you to expand as far down as 100%. However, if you hit 600 pixels tall, stop. Okay, so let's see what happens. I'm going to publish and refresh the page. Okay, and now look what happens. This is less than 600, and so it's 100% of the viewport height, 100%, 100%, and stop. Okay, so expand as far as you can, but stop once you hit my rule of 600 pixels max, all right? For min height, it's the exact opposite. So I'm gonna delete that and give this a min height of, uh, let's say, a min height of 500, okay? Now, if I remove the height and leave it as auto, look what happens. The height, if, if I remove the height, it's trying to collapse down as far as it can until it gets to 500. So I'm gonna remove this min height just to show you. All right, so height set to auto collapses down as far as it can until it reaches whatever the height of the content is. If I set a min height of 500, that means it's collapsing down, collapsing down as much as it can, and then once it hits 500 pixels, then it has to do that. So the minimum height has to be 500, okay? And that's what this is doing. So if I publish, go like this, nothing happens because the minimum height has to be 500 pixels, okay? If, let's go ahead and play around with this. I'll, I'm going to give this a height of, say, 10 VH, all right? Notice how nothing happens because, again, the minimum, I'm setting a rule, minimum 500 pixels, okay? So I'm going to remove this height, and let's say if I add more paragraphs, so let me set this a vertical. All right, I'm going to set more paragraphs. Notice what happens. The height of this is auto because it has all these paragraphs and the min height is 500 pixels, all right? So we've gone beyond 500 pixels, so we're good. We can go, the, we'll see a yellow box for as long as we want for as, for as much content as we have. If I remove this, again, nothing happens because the height is being dictated by the content within this box. If I set a max height of say 800, notice what happens. The box, the div block, will only go as far as 600, but the content within it wants to go further. Well, it's gonna overflow when you do that, all right? Yeah, so that's a lot, I know. And hopefully you understand the concept between height, percentages,
pixels, viewport height, and using max height and min height. All right. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to continue supporting my work and have a request for a video and want to put it at the top of my queue, go ahead and go to buymeacoffee.com slash pixelgeek. Either than that, thank you again so much, and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.